yeah, just hanging out, you know, in the private lounge at the airport on my way to Croatia. It's been a it's been a wild ride so far, my friends, but I feel like we're on the up. Don't don't zoom into the board over there. You'll discover it's Edinburgh. But it's a nice picture. I mean, definitely it's fine. This is realistic. That's not a green screen. I almost said blue screen. That makes no sense. Right. We'll have one little look at Traff. We've just left the club and just joined our new club. We've got that amazing wonder kid that we need to suck up to, right? He's got a year left on his deal. He's wanted by so many clubs. We're not going to keep him, but I'm going to try my best. Hand jobs, whatever he needs, whatever he needs, I'm there for him. <laughs> Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome back to The Journeyman. And as you can see, because I'm such a professional and such a, a once-in-a-lifetime manager, we were top of the league when I left. I don't Actually, I don't think so. We might have left like a game ago. But we were close. Yeah, we didn't manage that one. But we were close to the top of the league, which is quite surprising. We'd made good signings. We don't have any squad depth, but luckily we didn't have any injuries. And we'd started the season really well, um, especially the striker that we knew was going to be a Darlan. Darlan's played really well, scored 7 and 11. I'm doing really, really good. Look at the small the team is. Uh, doing really good stuff. So I've left them in a good spot, boys. I still think, you know, it's the right decision. And especially when you look at the team that we're about to have a look at. There's a lot of players, but there's some really, really good players. So, welcome to Croatia. <laughs> the league, when we looked at them, I think they'd played like 25 games or whatever and got two wins. Um, yeah, they their results didn't improve. Um, where's the schedule of the games? Oh, I saw, I saw my schedule now. It's because I'm the manager. They had a... Poor, I was going to say a poor end to the season. It never was a good start, was it? Yeah, not not a great end to the season. I'm an, I'm a little bit annoyed. I'm hoping this doesn't count as me being relegated. I've literally just taken charge yesterday at the end of the season. So if they, if they suggest that I got relegated, I'm going to be annoyed. So first off, let's have a quick look at dynamics because we have a slight issue. Um, <clears throat> that... The, the players hate me, but that is because I basically transfer listed 15 odd players. So you can kind of understand it. Um, not too many players at this present moment are unhappy. There might be more when we go into the proper season start and everything that um, lots of the players are going to want to leave. But if we have a look at our squad, okay, let's can we just bask in the glory that is our centre back, please? Um, this kid. I told you he's going to be a, like a proper worldie, 18 years old. He is wanted by Maribor, Sparta Prague, Arsenal, Chelsea, Inter, Juventus, Man City, Paris Saint-Germain, Red Bull, Salzburg, Roma, Benfica and Tottenham. Now, the problem we have is he doesn't want to be here and he has a year left on his deal. Now, he's only valued at 145 grand. 145 grand okay, so I've made him club captain. <laughs> Right? I've praised his conduct, right? I'm doing everything I possibly can. I will obviously take the money if a decent bid comes in. But at the end of the day, if he's valued 145k, if the bid is like a million quid, like maybe the sell-on fee might be worth it. But it's like, eh, is that worth it? If it's half a million quid, it's, there's no point. It's like we might as well keep him for a year because he's going to be exceptional. He's already our best player. Um, so I, yeah, it's a tough one. I don't know if I don't think there's any chance of us sign him signing a new contract, mate. A slimmish chance. But is that enough to just keep us going? He, he he just won't. He's not. He's not interested. Currently unhappy because we got relegated. So he's not. Un the thing is, he's not unhappy. And let me ch check this right, because this is actually a big point. He's not unhappy because he wants to move to a bigger club. Right. Um, wants to leave due to the club being relegated, which eventually wears off. So he's labelled as the next Slavan Bilic. Hopefully a better manager, but that's great. Um, I'm tempted to gamble a little bit and keep him. You know, 
believes the lack of support of the manager is, is fairly justified. That's because like his transfer listed alone. I, I chatted to him. He's on holiday. He's got Juricic, who's a team leader in the dressing room. Hang on, I've not, he's not the one I'm part of sale. No, good. Okay. <laughs> But he is an exceptional talent. If we can just give him one more contract, because that will make us so much money after another year or two selling him. So I'm, we'll keep an eye on that. If we, if I get a big offer, I'll take it. The only slight problem is we only have 175 grand in the bank. They've they've given me a two and a half million pound budget, <laughs> um, which is interesting. So. And we're making quite a heavy loss, supposedly. But you can never really trust this. Um, so I, d I can't... There's two ways we can go about this. We can spend the money to progress our own career. Or we can, you know, really work off this balance and not go crazy. We've also got a lot of wages, but I am getting rid of a lot of players. I might go like a... I might just spend the money. I don't, I don't normally be selfish, so I'm quite tempted just to go, okay, yeah, this is all about me. I'm spending the two and a half million. I'm spending the wages. That finances, not my problem. You shouldn't have given me such big budgets. But um, let's take a look at the rest of the team. It's not only him. We've got another good one, a 20-year-old, Dino Islamovic, an amazing uh, playmaker. So I was like, he's 20 years old. He's a beast, and he's got a three-year deal. So we are golden on that front. Juricic, he does have slight concerns, wants to move to a bigger club. Um, but he's 22 years old. He's a left winger. I was like, okay, good, good. We've got this guy, uh, Grubasic, Andrei Grubasic, who's a right back, who's not too bad, like pretty good. There's a couple of weaknesses, but overall still very good. Especially, remember, we're a relegated team. We've got Sonara, who could form an amazing partnership. He's only 22 with our superstar wonder kid. There's a lot of potential here. And then we've got some other players. And uh, Leonard Majsenic, um, who's a central midfielder. We've got... Yeah, there's a lot of five-star talents. Even if we look down a bit. Bruno Gurgic. Um, fantastic talent. There's, there's, there's a lot of gems here. <clears throat> I'm worried because of the bank balance that they the board will accept any decent offers. That's the only trouble we've got with keeping the young kid. But I'm going to battle for it. Rather than just give in and sell him, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to win him over with my charm, right? Um, so along with this team, I'll take you through a few of the strengths and weaknesses in a little bit. Um, we have our under-18s, which I've moved a lot of the players that I know I'm getting rid of to the under-18s. There is some talent in here as well. There's four youngsters that are really, really talented. Um... Need quite a bit of work, to be fair, but there's there's loads. Basically, what I've done is anybody from here pretty much down or here down, I've set for release or just sell for zero money. I've gone like, look, just get rid of that. They're all on a few hundred quid. There's this one guy that's on £1,700 a week, that dude that we saw before, who's just not... I don't know how that, hap how that happened, that he's got such a massive contract out of nowhere. Um, but we can cull a lot of that off. That'll give us a few thousand pounds a week as well in wages. So we, there's a lot of work to do, but there's also could be something special here. Now, weak areas. Goalkeeper is one. Uh, this is our main guy from last year. Ned, Ned I'm going to call him Ned Vidmar. Hmm. You know, I would have looked at that at Traff and gone, no, he's not. He's not, he's not quite good enough. So the fact is, yeah, he's, he's just not great. And he's on a lot of money as well. So goalkeeper is definitely a priority. We've got a good youngster, but he needs a bit of development. He's 18 years old. So we've got a good young... I don't know the rules on signing foreign players, but I, the fact I can see some Flenians, Polish, we've got Norwegian, we've got Bahamas. So we can obviously sign Europeans, maybe a certain amount. We'll discover that as I make transfers and realise I've... Bought too many foreign players. Uh, so I'd like to get a first-choice goalkeeper in and get rid of this guy with the big wages. Um, right back, we've got this good youngster, Segovic, um, who's going to be pretty damn solid. And we've got Grubby as well. The left back is really weak. We've got like four or five players that can all play left back, but not fantastically well. Uh, centre back, if we can keep the wonder kid, we're going to try. Satulo, um... He's going to be amazing as Sonara, so they're like rock solid. Then we've got Zerdum, who's a decent backup. And we've got Jerko Boban. He was in the reserves, and I'm like, that name is amazing. Get in the first squad. You know, 
because that, that's how I do football manager, <clears throat> as you well know, and a couple of other good youngsters. Um, so left back and goalkeeper. Uh, the other issue is we've got a few central midfielders, but they're all very much attacking playmakers or attacking mids, box to box midfielders. We don't really have a, a defensive midfielder, a ball winning midfielder um, that's really going to do the job. So that's another area. Um, as for the right wingers, we've got some OK wingers. I say the weakest area is actually probably strikers and going and uh, and wingers and stuff. We've got some lots of players with decent potential. So it might be a case that if we can fill the other spots, we just give these guys game times to prove themselves. Like we've got two young right wingers, so that's fine. Uh, left winger, we've got this guy who's could potentially be decent. He's got some really nice uh, attributes, but some weaknesses as well. But he could do a job. Remember, we got relegated, so we have to. We can aim lower. We've got this young guy called Zdravko Bobby Kanek, who's a five-star potential. Could be. He's only sixteen. I've chucked him straight in the first team so he can get some mentoring and stuff like that. But I don't think we have an out-and-out -out top draw striker. I'm going to. I imported the system we were using before because I really liked it it's not a crazy high tempo high line high press thing it's a bit low I quite enjoyed watching it so maybe this with tweaks might go 4-4-1-1 undecided yet because we've got lots of number 10s but not really strikers so that depends on the transfer window and stuff speaking of which let's have a look at the rules not in this league though Hey, I'm a genius. Okay, it's this league that we have to look at the rules for. That could have been a horrible mistake. Okay, 30 games in a season. Play each other twice. No, yeah, no weird flowchart stuff. The match squad must have no more than two non-EU players. Okay, there must be at least three under-21s. We don't have to worry about that. We've got about 17 of them. Um, playing in the, play, in the playing 11 for the first half of the game. Okay, no... Wow, the match squad can have cannot have more than three players age over 20. Oh, that's the B teams. Jesus Christ, I'm like, that's strict. That's B team stuff. Um, it must have at least 10 players trained by a club in Croatia. So that's quite a large amount for the squad. Um, under 17s can't play. Seven subs, lovely. No trialists, blah, blah, blah. Usual match ban stuff. Um, top team wins promotion. B teams aren't allowed to win, so is there only one promotion spot? That's a bit that's a bit tricky. Um transfer windows. So we've got 15th of June to the 31st of August, so about six weeks-ish. Um no, ten weeks-ish. Uh that's domestic transfers, and then a little bit earlier for foreign transfers, and then we've got a January transfer window that actually starts mid-January and goes to mid-February because for football. Okay. Six long-term loans. Nothing too weird. The only one we need to keep an eye on is ton two, only two non-EU players. Um, so that's not too bad. So issues are goalkeeper and left-back are the, the, the critical ones. Bank balance is another issue. Um, they want us to fish, finish in the top half. Oh, sorry, top two places next season. So that's good. They don't want instant promotion. Gives us a little, a tiny bit of breathing space. If we look at our facilities, they were formed a long time ago, 1907. I was just a mere child back then. Um, good facilities, good, okay finances. They've got like a two, 3,000 all-seater stadium that's relatively new, which we'll check out on Google Maps. Um, I'm on a decent wage. I've upgraded from my £900 a week to £2,800 a week. So we'll be looking to buy a house, maybe a little apartment. Don't want to go too fancy. Do I? I treat myself. I did live in a box for a while, so I feel like I owe it to myself to <laughs> to buy something nice. Um, so overall, I'm exceedingly excited about this team. I fell in to a pile of shit, found a diamond because there's some really exciting prospects here. We just need to nurture this guy, make him love me. <laughs> I wonder if. I don't know if he's good enough. I wonder if we could potentially, because I was thinking from my old team, we probably can't scout players from this area, can we? Oh, we can. Oh. Um, I was wondering if Darlin. No. Now I, he looked good. Do you remember when he looked good? 
But now I've seen our new team, I'm like, wow, he's a bit shit, isn't he? He can do a job. I'll scout him. Maybe not a first choice, but as a decent backup. Uh, <clears throat> had a little fun thing with Nasimbi. Um, three games into the season, he hadn't played a single minute. Just want to say. Um, he then came to me to... Uh, he asked for a new contract because of his recent form. We saw he played a few games at the end of last season. He was terrible. He didn't play a single minute of this season so far after like four or five games or whatever it was. Um, he played for the reserves a few times and done shit as well, but then wanted a new, <laughs> new deal. So maybe he's a bad egg. Has he scored for his country yet? Still no. Um, is there anybody else that could do a job? I did like Brun. And we do potentially need a left winger. Um, I d also like this guy, Pal Vigo. But I don't think he'll... He's on loan anyway. So, uh, yeah. It's not really a massive amount. Definitely not goalkeepers. What about Arsenal? Nurture him. What about Karaoke Doki? How do I spell his name? Oh, fucking hell. I forgot to spell me. Child's name. <laughs> okay. Now, he's got a little bit worse as well. He could potentially be decent. And it'd be cheap. Pretty pretty big wages. He did want to leave at the end of last season, but they obviously those two games have really helped him. I think we'll put in a um an inquiry for him. I can't afford to pay him like over a grand though, can I? That's a that's quite a chunk. I've not got many players paying over a grand. How much would we offer this guy? He's he's only on 375 quid a week. Mate, I'll offer whatever our max is, I will offer it. With all the bonuses, everything. Just just let me talk to you. <laughs> right, I'm going to bat off with that, okay, over the next coming months. So when we come back, it'll be like the first game of the season um, with transfers done and any news. So he'll either be here and I will be still sucking up to him. Hope maybe small chance of giving him a new contract, although I would probably, any chance I've got will be after he gets... He's not sad about getting relegated anymore and wants to leave because of that. So it might be a few months into the season. Or I'm going to be crying because the board sold him from under me for like 200k with no sell on. I would cry. I might actually cry if that was to happen. But I am exceedingly excited about this team. I I'll, Normally I do, obviously, the first episode is transfers and stuff. But I thought, as I took the job, I thought I'd do this little mini episode. Probably not that mini. I can talk for hours. Um... Showing you the team. So there's going to be some new faces. Goalkeeper, left back, striker. Right? Goalkeeper, left back, striker. Those are the three things that we have to have. And then there's a few sprinklings that we can do. But we've got money to spend. Not money that we have, but we've got money to spend. So there we go, my friends. Let me know what you think of the team. If there's anything I can do. Right? If there's any tips you've got. Okay, in-game or not, of how we can suck up to this guy properly to make him stay forever or at least the next two years let me know in the comments you can make stuff up if you want what you'd do to keep this player at your second division croatian club <laughs> right remember that look at it oh it's disgusting right thank you very much for watching i'll see you next episode for the first game of the season Bye bye